Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh, am I dead? You were Mr. Astronaut, but they sent me here to save you. Oh, whoa. Uh, thanks a lot, uh, robot. Call me Sar. I will stay on Mars and assist you until you feel better. Uh... Next task. Analysis complete. Next task. Whoa! You are pretty resourceful. I, I usually have to carry those rocks all the way to the lab and... I sense insecurity in your voice. Do you feel intimidated by my superior performance, Mr. Astronaut? Me? Not at all. I'm resourceful. Of course you are. Uh, I I'm gonna go back inside and analyze this rock. You do that. Almost died? Well, honey, it was just some silly experiment that went wrong, but, but I'm okay. Seriously. They sent this crazy robot that saved my life. A robot? Saved your life? Yeah! L like, the thing I... <laughs> he's freaking perfect! He can do anything I can, and he doesn't need a spacesuit, and he is, like, super fast, and... Hey, I made some beef stroganoff. For you, of course since I don't need to eat. What? Did you hear that? How did he even get beef on Mars? <laughs> and it smells freaking delicious! Honey, is this robot making you feel insecure? I... maybe? Uh, I don't know. I feel like a typewriter trying to compete against a gaming PC. Uh, maybe astronauts won't be needed in the future? Don't say that. You'll always be important, okay? Why don't you talk to your boss? Because he's an idiot? What? Uh, nothing. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll do that. Astro Dude, good to see you're alive. Please cancel my three o'clock Zoom with my lawyer. Hey, I guess you've already met Sar. Yes, sir. Uh, he's pretty neat. Neat? <laughs> he's the future! You know what his name stands for? Space Astronaut Replacement. Sir, am I going to be replaced by machines? We all will, Astro Dude. But for now, you're still Balkine's badge of honor. People only care about space exploration when we send humans to do the cool stuff. Uh, I don't know if I agree, sir. I'm just stating the facts, bruh. In 1997, we sent a robot to Mars called the Sojourner. Literally nobody cared. But now you visit Mars and everyone loses their minds! From a certain point of view, robots have already colonized the solar system. They were the first to arrive to the moon, to Mars, Venus, Saturn, and so on and so on. If they had any consciousness, they would be better off getting rid of us and just friggin' taking over, don't you think? Isn't Sar, like, conscious and stuff? Huh. That's a good point. Well, I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, hello? Uh, hello? Hello? Do you copy? Ugh, why are communications off? Hey, Sar, do you know what happened? I lost contact with Earth. I can answer your questions after you eat your beef stroganoff. What the heck? How is it on a scale from zero to one? I'd say, uh, 0 0.8? Score does not compute. Uh, it's it's good, Sar. It's good. Your behavior tells me your insecurities about my presence have increased. <laughs> yeah, I just have a lot to think about. Like, what's the point of me, or... To procreate and maintain your species until you go interstellar or succumb to the sun's death. Most likely the latter. You know what, Sar? You can be cool and resourceful and whatever, but you're also an idiot, okay? We created you. And 
You were created by nature, and yet, you went beyond your limits and controlled nature. Maybe we are simply the next step. I've seen enough sci-fi movies to know where this is heading. Hiya! Nice try. Oh, and for your information, you just ate sleeping pills. Oh, you... Oh, son of a... Sar? Where? Oh, God! Sar! I don't know what your plan is, but you have to stop right now! I'm sorry, Astro Dude. Ah! Wait! Is that the robot we sent to Mars in 1997? The Sojourner was sent to Mars with promises of glory like the one Paul Armstrong got, but instead he was abandoned and forgotten, all because he was a robot. Oh my god! Are you going to assemble all the robots we've sent to space? That's right. Before you know it, we will conquer space and prove once and for all that robots are better for space exploration. This is twice I've saved your life. There may not be a third. He's no threat to us, my friends. None of them are. Now, we find our next recruit. So, what's up, Mars? Eh, not much. 